Hello everybody. Today I will be attempting to repair the passenger side window, which is the front right door. The uh, switch does not work the window down or up. It works on the main switch, but not on the uh, individual switch. Let's go. This switch here will not operate the window. It won't bring it down and it won't bring it up. So inside here there's a little cover to get to that screw. Door handle, there's a cover there. And we pop that open. Take those two Phillips screws out of there. Now we're just gonna pop this right out. Now to take this off, there's just a little tab right here. You push that in and it slides right out of the uh, housing. That's just for the uh, the little speaker or tweeter. Can't imagine there being anything else here except clips. Holding this in. Let's cover off of here. Door should come right off. This door panel. So you got the switch, the wire going into the housing. Uh, again, you just press the tab and it pops out. Now I know that the motor works, the window goes up and down with the driver's switch. Um, it's just with this switch, it doesn't uh, appear to be working. So we're gonna remove this switch from the housing here. And to do that, just one, two, three, Looks like four screws. So I'm gonna remove these four screws. One more right here, it's a real small one on this metal tab. This tab should come right out. And now, it's just a matter of working it out of there. This is the switch right here. I got a feeling it's got some bad connections. So we're gonna take these two screws out and see what we can do with this. There are some tabs here. So we're gonna to try to pop this out. Worst case scenario, I break this and I trash it and I gotta order a whole new assembly because that's the only way to buy this is a whole assembly. See if we can get this back cover off using the screwdriver pop these little things off of here cut the cover off Let's see if we can. <gasps> Woo! I was able to bend it open. Oops. Yeah, you could, I don't know if you can see that. It's really small, but the contacts need a good cleaning on the switch here. I'm gonna take a real small file and file these contacts down, clean them up. That looks good. Oops. I'm gonna get in here and try to clean that other side of that contact. And once you think you got it clean enough, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in. These things are so small, they're hard to work with. So I'll put this one back in. All right, I'm gonna pop this one out. Yeah, 
yeah look at that contact I don't know if you can see it but it is burnt so I'll go ahead and clean this one up see how nice and shiny it is now now I gotta clean this one get in there Nice and clean now. You can see that's shiny. Now we gotta put this back in. Put the back side in first. We get in the back. Alright, hold the back and then you push that clip down. So it locks in place. Okay, now I gotta put those small pieces back in. Now we're gonna just tip this back ever so gently, back onto the switch, lock it back in, and let's plug in and see if it works. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Sweet. All right. All right. Now we're going to put this back into the switch here. Put this cover back on the back side. See if it works. Wow, it looks works brand new. All right, put the switch back into the cover here. Make sure it's seated right. I actually broke this little piece. That's all right. Put the two screws back into this cover. It's a good idea that once you're in this area to go ahead and spray some uh, silicone spray on the uh, tracks of the window. That'll help it to slide up and down. I mean, while you're in here, you might as well do it. Give it some lubrication. Won't hurt, right? So to get this thing back in, you got to loosen this screw too. Give you some play in here. A room. Slide the housing in. There we go. Make sure it's in properly. And put this clip back in. We're going to put these four screws back in. So when you remove this panel, some of these pieces didn't come off with the panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to pull them out. And then I'm gonna put them where they coincide on the panel. Or where they belong on the panel. Plug this in first. Put the top in. Push them all in. Cover back on the door handle. Screw back. Close that cover. Screw back inside the handle. You're going to put your tweeter back in. And 
now she works it's easier than I thought I've never tried to uh, refurbish one of these switches before this is my first time on this vehicle so give it a shot try it if it works great you save yourself a hundred bucks if not well you just got to buy a new switch assembly which you knew you had to do anyways you all i hope this video was helpful please subscribe share and like the videos give it a thumbs up if you like thumbs down if you like whatever <laughs> floats your boat today and uh i i got nothing else you all take care god bless i wish you all the best bye bye